Hi everybody. Uh, as you remember in the previous related video, we were talking about uh, how to upload the ESP Easy firmware on the um, MPRS X8 Home Automation Board that we have here. And we have found the process has been very, very simple and very easy. And for the upload process, if you remember, we were using uh, uh, this, um, uh, let's say, a little bit more special uh, programming board with uh, auto reset capabilities and fully isolation and so on. Um, <clears throat> uh, meanwhile, when I was uh, preparing the, the files for uploading, um, somebody was asking me uh, if it's not possible to uh, reprogram the board uh, with, uh, let's say, a more uh, standard available uh, serial uh, uh, to USB adapter. Um, what I'm doing now, it's, uh, let's say, um, a live session. So basically, I don't know what will happen. I have not done it before, but uh, I'm expecting it to work. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, the only thing that I, I was able to find around these days and that it's looking like something that might work in the process, it's this very, very cheap uh, eBay available uh, USB to serial adapter. Um, as you can see, it has the the proper pinout. So we have the receive the transmit, we have ground, we have uh, plus five volts. So basically, we have uh, <coughs> everything that uh, we need around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, I found it actually like this in in a box. Uh, seems to be connected to uh, um, Arduino uh, Mini or something like that. It's a Dick Robot. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, a Dick Robot board. Um, uh, on board, it's an uh, Atmega 328. So yes, probably it's an Arduino. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. Uh, this board, it's available on eBay, um, probably under a few bucks, yeah? Okay, so let's see how can we use <coughs> this board for programming our MPRS X8 board if we don't have a um, dedicated programmer like the USB programmer version 8, yeah? So, uh, I'm thinking to, it's obviously we don't have any auto reset capabilities, yeah? So we need to uh, put the ESP8266 in programming mode before start writing the new upload, uh, actually uploading the, the new firmware, yeah? So, <clears throat> how I'm thinking to do it, um, okay, so we will need, obviously, ground, uh, we don't need VCC, uh, we don't need uh, DTR, yeah, well, uh, let's try it like this, the simplest possible thing, so basically, <clears throat> what I'm doing now, I'm choosing to use only receive, transmit, and ground, yeah? Okay. And we need also to put the ESP8266 in programming mode. Uh, if you remember, to move it in the programming mode, in case of our MPRS X8 board, the only thing that we need to do it's to connect uh, GPIO 0 to ground. Yes. So let me take a look on the programming header. Yes, so we have GPIO 0 and ground, and we will use also transmit and receive. Reset will be manual, obviously. We don't have our auto reset capabilities. 
Uh, so might work. Uh, okay, so I need also in this case I need also jump. Uh, yeah, this jumper. Okay. So <clears throat> GPI zero ground. We will put a jumper. Yeah. So this is when we will power up the board. It will go in the programming mode. Yeah. And uh, we will connect also receive and transmit receive and transmit okay. well, of course keep in mind the receive will go on transmit and transmit will go on receive because it's serial yeah okay and uh, these two wires doesn't need and a ground uh, ground ground <coughs> okay and ground we will connect from ground we have here the i i will use i can do it also from here but come on i will use the the ground pin from the um, next bus yeah so on the next bus as you know we have sda acl ground and vcc i will take the ground from here yeah and i will connect it to the ground like that yeah okay so now we have a jumper connecting gpio zero with ground for uh, pushing the espa266 at boot to go in the programming mode <clears throat> we have um, transmit and receive and the ground okay Okay, now uh, let me power up the adapter connecting to the serial. Now it's on the serial port. And also let me connect <coughs> main power. Okay. Okie dokie. Perfect. Um, Yeah. let's see what's happening uh, we are using of course the same flash command yeah so now hopefully uh, when we boot the ESP8266 went on the programming mode yeah so flash command uh, com port for this adapter is 27 uh, is the same 4096 and the build example is the same 147 <laughs> and as you can see <coughs> this LED flashing is telling us a very very good thing the message is that it's uh, in the programming mode and it's uploading the firmware yeah so you can see it here yeah you can see the dots so that means that it's uploading looks very nice very nice i'm looking forward to see it finishing and after that i will uh, uh, connect in the same way through a serial terminal and we will see uh, what's happening uh, so now it's ready and uh, let's see it's com 20 27 this time mm, okay uh, let me close this one okay um <clears throat> i need now to remove the jumper yeah so i will take out the jumper and i will press the the reset button and it should reboot and go in normal mode not in programming mode 
and as you can see everything seems to be okay so <clears throat> this is if you want um let's say um um, manual mode uh, firmware uploading or I don't know how to name it yet so basically uh, it's confirmed that uh, it's working very very well also with uh, uh, simple uh, uh, adapter that you can just find around yeah so uh, what we have here <clears throat> it's a um, uh, CP2102 adapter so this is a, a Silabs chip uh, I don't know if it's genuine or not uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, this adapter is coming from eBay and it was probably I don't know a buck two bucks something like that yeah so uh, if you want to program your board with uh, let's say <coughs> sorry <coughs> I have a cold that is killing me um, if you have the NPRS X8 board around and you cannot find your your adapter or you don't want to use the adapter uh, despite the fact that i recommend it uh, because it's fully isolated and uh, especially when you are working with mains and other things around it's very good for your health and for your computer to have an isolated one but let's say that you don't want to use it uh, and you have around uh, i don't know i think any usb to serial adapter any USB to serial adapter because basically you need just receive transmit and ground and that's it yeah uh, other else we will use the the jumper for GPIO zero and the reset button for reset and that's it yeah okay so let's say uh, experiment done uh, it was ended this time uh, successfully uh, without any magic smoke or things like that so uh, that's it uh, thank you very much for watching and if you like it uh, please subscribe and also please give me a big thumbs up uh, thank you very much uh, happy new year and see you next time